paint and uh, on the glass, um, I think, are, are two things that they beat us on uh, last game in Memphis. And then keep our turnovers down. They're a very good defensive team that uh, comes up with a lot of steals that translate into easy buckets for them. So if we can do that, I think that, that we can get this victory, especially on our home court. Is a mental thing between you guys and Memphis? I mean, I don't, I don't see it as a mental thing. Um, it's not like uh, Sacramento was last year where they had a, had a bad record but, but beat us a bunch of times. Uh, you know, they're a very good basketball team, a mature basketball team that's been around together for a while. Um, so they're, you know, they're, they're one of the better teams in the West. I think we are too, so it's going to be a good battle tomorrow. Is this at all similar to how you guys had to get over that one hump against San Antonio and win there? Like I said, I don't, I don't see it to that point yet. Um, that was like 25 years of not winning. <laughs> that was a little more intense. Uh, but I think, uh, I think Memphis has had our number and um, look forward to, uh, to getting back on the court and playing against them. What kind of adjustments do you make? Zach, you personally? Me personally, I mean, he's, yeah, he's, he's played well, not only against us, but I mean, he saw what he just did against the Clippers and what he's done in recent games um, against Detroit. I watched the uh, second half of that game. I guess, wait, not Detroit, um, somebody else is. Um, he's, he's a guy that's, uh, that's uh, very difficult to stop inside. Uh, and, and, you know, he's, he's a handful for anybody. Um, the biggest thing you have to try to do is make sure he doesn't get those, those low catches in the paint because once he gets it down low, even though he's not jumping up over and, and, and dunking on people, um, he's a guy that's going to always finish those inside. And the second thing is to keep him off the glass. Uh, he's most effective when he's offensive rebounding the ball. So do my best to do both of those things and, and also uh, make him work defensively. Um, last game they had Gasol on me, but... Um, We'll see what their matchups are, and, and we'll go right back at them. Keep another two I mean, these guys are tall, but they're also bulky. I mean, is there another tandem in the league? Uh, to that? I would think, you know, from my money, I would think they're uh, they're the most difficult to play against. Uh, just just as far as four and fives, um, you know, Blake and DeAndre are solid as well. But I would think that that, that those two are the toughest. Uh, also because of their, the way they work together. I mean, um, Marc Gasol, the majority of the games at the high post and is such a good passer. And they're both very good in the pick and roll game and they can both hit a 15 footer. So uh, they complement each other very well. And I think that you, I don't think either one of them would be as effective without the other one in the lineup, if that makes sense. I mean, I think that you, know, you could give a lot more help on Zach if, if it weren't for the fact that you have to respect Marc Gasol so much and, and vice versa. Um, and that, I think that makes them both a lot better players. Have you and Bogut had a one-on-one -on -one chat about playing those two guys? I mean, just sit, sat down and said, you know, how are we going to handle each other? Overtime, I mean, that was certainly last No, I mean, we, we constantly have conversations about um, strategy going into games. We do a lot of preparation, and uh, it's nice to be able to prepare with Andrew every day this year and, and know that we're both going to be in the lineup, and that's good to have that consistency. And we're starting to, to really understand one another on both ends of the floor. Um, no, I, I don't. I don't think we need to make this into a situation where we're, we're concerned about those two guys. I think that that, that uh, you know Andrew and I are going to go right back at those guys, and that they have some things they need to be concerned about as well. So we're going to have to, you know, we're we're ready to go at those guys, just like they're ready to go at us. And and uh, but but they're definitely one of the best four and five tandems in the league, and and uh, we know we have our work cut out for us.